Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. I don't know what to call this. Banyaza Sufi blew my mind with these four promises he made to the Houteng people. Is this campaigning? Is this pure ignorance? Is this a desperation act to get voters? What is going on in the ANC? Why these promises in this particular stage of the year and this particular time of campaigning for the elections? Why couldn't you do this, all of these beautiful things you are talking about in other times, the previous year and other times? Banyazal Sufi promised Gauteng four things, and these are the four things he promised. The issues that you are going to fight these elections with in Gauteng, there are four issues. The first one, comrades, is that as the Gauteng provincial government, from the 1st of February, we will start to employ people so that we don't have young people that are unemployed in our province. Comrades, there were 35,000 young people came to an end in October. And 35,000 young people. We also want to declare, comrades, from the 1st of March, from the 1st of March, we need veterans of Umkonto Wesizwe. From the 1st of March, we need those that were part of MK and other military organizations. We need 3,000 of you to come and join the provincial government to go and fight crime in Gaudi. All combatants of Umkonto Wesizwe, don't go that side. Come this side. On the 5th of February, we want to take you to train you to come and work and fight crime in Houthi. Comrades of Soweto. Comrades of Soweto. We knew ESCOM was an opposition political party in Soweto. I want to declare to you, all the transformers that were not working in Soweto, the government that I have the honor to lead, have bought 2,500 transformers we are coming to install all those transformers in all our areas. There will be no area that will not have electricity in Soweto. From next week, we are installing six every week until every part of Soweto has electricity. Comrades, before I sit down, I want to declare to you that the government I have the honor to lead believe in education. For the first time in the history of education in our province, we've got close to almost all our district offices, all our matriculants in Gauteng, out of 10 matriculants, 
Hey, they've passed with bachelor passes, and there are 57,000 of them in Gauteng are going to fill universities across the province. And we are saying, comrades, every child that is number one in each and every school in Gauteng, every child that is number two in each and every school in Gauteng, every child that is number three in each and every school in Gauteng, Gauteng government is offering a bazaar until you think of Nelson Mandela. We are children of Tabo Mbeki, and we are children of Cyril Ramaphosa. Unga sugele, singai susa, no mainini. Amanda! Peace in Pan-Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Said So. I am your host, King 053, Mr. Easy Imali, Eningineni. And we are back at it again with another one. And this time around, we go to Gauteng, the ANC, Panyaza Lisufi, the, um, uh, what you call the premier candidate for the ANC, who has made promises that I can't believe, guys. I cannot believe this. What do we Africans have to do to get services from our government without being manipulated to voting for them? What does it take for, for us Africans to just get services because we are human? Not because it is election time, not because um, the, the, the government body, the government party needs something from us, not because there's any reason, just because we are human, can we get the service that we deserve? Can crime be fought just because we are human? Can un un unemployment be destroyed just because we are human? Can our children get free education just because we are human? Can the, the, the veterans be taken care of just because they are human? Why must it be an association with the ruling party? Or why must it be association with the campaigning for us to be promised things like this? The four promises is crazy. If Panyazo Lusufi can come out and say, from February 1st, we are creating jobs for more than uh, 35,000 youth who have lost their jobs in, in November last year. We, we want to create these jobs in February. We are employing. Come, we will employ you in the ANC. It means that unemployment is not a problem in our country. If someone can just stand up and say, from tomorrow, come, we are employing you. It means unemployment is not a problem. It's a strategy and a policy to keep our African people begging for the rights of employment, for the rights of a better life. That is what is happening here. Banyaza Lisufi says from March, all the controversies of veterans, they must come. 3,000 of them, he's going to employ them and they will get into government, have a parasol number and fight a crime in our country, in our province, meaning Gauteng. Why? Why now? Crime has been a problem for years, especially in the term of Cyril Ramaphosa. It has escalated and skyrocketed like nobody's business. So why now are you saying the veterans must come? Because of Mkonto Wesizwe. Are you acting because of Mkonto Wesizwe? So if there was no Mkonto Wesizwe, these veterans would have never got jobs. Is that what we are saying here? But this one shocked me like nobody, uh, nobody before, N not nothing else before in my life. He says they have bought 2,500 transformers to be installed in Soweto, and they're going to destroy this low shading thing. When did you buy these 2,500 uh, transformers? Yesterday, last month, last week. When did you buy? This 2,000, I mean, you people are just clapping hands for nothing now. Do you know what is 2,500 transformers? Do you know what is, 
uh, what is 2,500 transformers? Have you ever seen 500 transformers in your life? 500 transformers. Do you know what is a hundred? Have you ever counted from one to a hundred? Have you ever counted from one to 1,000? Do you know what is 2,500 transformers? The ANC has got the power to buy 2,500 transformers and install six of them daily. You mean they have the capacity to do that and they have not been doing it all this time? Is that what we are saying? Ah, come on, South Africans. We can do better. We can do better. We definitely can do better. I mean, when someone says something, you need to listen and you need to question what you are hearing. What is this guy saying? 2,500 transformers. They're going to install six every 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 week how many transformers do they need to um uh what you call how many weeks do they need to install that whole 2500 2500 divided by by six <laughs> divided by six they need 416 weeks 416 weeks there's 52 weeks in, in a year. 52, is it 52? Some 50 something weeks in a year. They need 400 and something to finish this, this um, 2,500 transformers by cutting it bit by bit. If they are doing it every week, they need about 400 weeks to finish those two. Uh, can, can, do, you, do you get what I'm trying to say to you? Do you understand what you people and then he says um the top three of every school will get a free buzzer the top three so if you are top 10 uh well sorry you're gonna struggle there with ns first you're gonna struggle and struggle jacob zuma said every child that has passed that that has qualified to get into university will study for free the anc turned that around free education was announced by jacob zuma because the money is there. Remember, these people can buy 2,500 transformers. Ah, huh? When, when are we going to wake up? When are we going to wake up? Mm. I don't know. These promises, if delivered as a pan-Africanist, I'll be very happy. All of these promises delivered, I'll be happy with the ANC. With the service that the ANC would give to our people. Because... We are at a point where we, we, we are no longer choosing now. We just want service delivered. Whether it comes from the EFF or the Mkonto Caesar or ANC, the IFP, uh, whether, but, but not the DA. Others, but not the DA. We don't play that game of DA in this channel. We don't play that game of the DA in this channel. Hell, I will even go for PA. I will even do PA. I will do Patriot Alliance. Uh, I will do them. I will do them no problem. I will even do the good party. I will even go for them. But the Freedom Front and the DA never, not in this channel. Don't want anything. Die will die uh, from hunger than to eat on the table of the DA. Never, not in this channel. Never. We're voting for black parties. And the PA is a black party, whether they like it or not. Um, so if you vote for them, I'm not angry. You're voting for black people. They just need to be liberated in their minds, those ones and stop fighting our African brothers and sisters. But you get my point. You get my point. Let me not continue there. So I'll be happy if the service can be delivered. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, when the PA does good in a particular municipality where Gaten was um, there in, uh, in Northern Cape where he was uh, uh, in Bufford West. Was it Bufford West? Yes. Where he was um, a mayor. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with service delivery. No problem. No problem. As long as it's coming from our people. So if the, the ANC can do what they have promised here, these four, uh, uh, four promises that he made, these four points that he, he made, I'll be happy. Ha! <sighs> it's a little too late for them uh, now until the election. They will have to quickly fix this ESCOM issue because uh, a lot of electricity is being used in Soweto. 
you know, I, mean, I think Soweto is the highest consuming ele in electricity more than any township because it's more, the biggest township in in Africa, I believe. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's in the top three. So uh, let's hope that they can fix this ESCOM issue in Soweto because the rest of the country will benefit from that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, what do I know? Peace in Pan-Africanism. Uh, you know, guys, we've got a sponsor. We are we're trying to advertise as much as possible because they've got an event next week. So hey, if MMA uh, tickles your fancy uh, and stuff like that, you love those type of things, make sure that you tune in on Ace uh, Professional Championship, buy your ticket online, and make sure that you support them because the king said so. Watch this. In a celebration of mixed martial arts, Muay Thai, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the Ace Fighting Championship brings you a thrilling event on the 10th of February in Johannesburg, South Africa. Experience the intensity live at the EFC Performance Institute. Secure your tickets now on Howler and Ace Tickets for an unforgettable night of combat sports excellence. Oh, good punches now. That's something that's important. Oh, oh, that high mount. Just a matter of time. Oh, and Ezekiel! 